Hi, and today I'm going to show you how we can add an event or arrange a meeting in Office 365. Now, this is brilliant for me in education because it just means I can arrange meetings with colleagues or pupils using the calendar and it will just keep us both in sync and it just keeps everything in one place. And it also means if anything gets changed or updated, I've got regular contact about that rather than having to swap emails and that kind of thing. There's two ways to do this. We can actually click on the uh, sort of date and time that we want to add the meeting in, but that gives us very basic options. So I'm going to show you a slightly more um, advanced way of doing it, but it's really beneficial. So the first thing we're going to do is click on new event in the top left hand corner and we're going to type in an event name. So this meeting is going to be to do with revision uh, and it's going to be on rivers and the location so uh, it's worth typing something here just so someone knows where to meet you unless you've already planned it it's just worth sticking anything in there so I might type in room six for example my room um, you can if your room is already on here you can add it but you don't need to you can just add it as text the attendees is important um, if I want to invite someone to this meeting so say this revision session is just for a one-to-one -one with student one then I type in the first couple of letters of their name. Now you'll see I've invited student one to a meeting before, so they've popped up. If I haven't invited student one to a meeting before, I could click search contacts and that'll bring up everyone else that fits that um, description. So the STU, it's brought up everyone else with STU in their name. So I'm going to click student one anyway, because that's who I want to invite. You can invite as many people as you want. You can also invite groups. So just add whoever you want to that meeting. Um, the start date, Obviously, we put is whatever date the meeting's going to be. The time's interesting. Um, at my school, uh, you'll notice everything runs either o'clock or half past. That isn't sort of necessarily the way a school day is going to run. So, for example, one of our lessons starts at 12.20. If I want to put 12.20 as a start time, I'm going to click on the one that's nearest the start time I want, so 12.20, and then I can click on the text box. I can actually just edit it like a normal text box. So I just delete and put a 2 in, and it's now 12.20. Duration, um, all our lessons are an hour, so I can change that to an hour. Um, show as busy, it's worth leaving like that. It just means that a red um, dot will come up next to your name um, just to say that you're busy. It also means on link that it will notify your contacts you're busy as well. Um, reminder, if you set that, then a little reminder will pop up here just letting you know you have a meeting. So you see I've got one there. Um, if it's a timetable you're putting in, I wouldn't necessarily do that. If it's a sort of new meeting that doesn't always happen, so you might want to jog your memory, it might be worth putting a reminder in. And repeat, if it's going to be something that happens regularly, you can click on that and repeat every week, etc, etc. Um, in terms of the description, again, you can put a description in, but it's not necessary. All you need to do once you have finished is then click send, and that will send an email to student one, just letting them know that I want to invite them to a meeting. So you see it's added it to mine, Revision on Rivers, and what will then happen is they'll get um, a message saying, do you want to sort of attend this meeting? They can either accept it or deny it. If they accept it, then it will get added to their calendar as well. And it will be on both our calendars and any updates will then show on both our calendars. If they deny it, then obviously you're aware that that meeting isn't going to be able to take place then. And that's all there is to um, adding an event or adding a meeting on Office 365.